Observer Ethical Awards. It's very exciting. I can't believe that we've done eight years. We've had more nominations than ever this year. We've got brilliant judges. There are some fantastic people attending tonight and I'm very excited. One of the shortlisted for the unsung local hero. I'm Anna's dad. My daughter, unbeknown to me, nominated me, and it's a it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, it's a great pleasure because it's one of my children who has acknowledged you know the work I work I've been doing with um, planting trees, planting a wildflower meadow, and um, refurbishing tools. I was a judge on this year's uh, 2013 uh, Observer Ethical Awards panel and it was great fun, really interesting and as always very heartening to see what people are up to, what's going on and sometimes it's quite easy to feel a little bit depressed about the state of the world but I find this kind of event and activity really uplifting. I entered the well dressed category because I've been interested in ethical fashion for a few years. My interest was actually sparked by reading Lucy Siegel's To Die For, so it was incredibly apt to actually meet her today. We are here because we just won the Big Idea Award. Mm -hmm. Our idea is to try and provide sustainable sanitation solutions that don't use water and at the same time produce energy, renewable energy in the form of biogas and fertiliser. I think it's been a splendid day. Um, I think the, eth the Ethical Awards itself is of great importance um, to, 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 to humanity, both locally and across the world, because it raises people's perceptions of better ways of living, better ways of doing things, and more ethical standards in society. And now, tell us who's won. And the winner is Virgin Atlantic. And the winner is Virgin Atlantic. marketing in the UK for Ecover and we sponsor the Observer Ethical Awards and in particular we sponsor the Young Green Champions Award. It's been an absolutely fantastic evening where we've been able to celebrate not just the people that have won but also the nominees that have been really great. I'm lurking in the bushes here at the Natural History Museum where Joanna Lumley is being shot for the Observer magazine. She has a butterfly on her face and she is our British Campaigner of the Year. Joanna Lumley is universally admired for all sorts of reasons. She's a national treasure, a long-time animal rights champion, a fighter for German veterans and a face of shopping. That was the most emotional epic awards we have had during eight years. It was just full of highlights. Colin Firth accepted a, an award on behalf of Malala. Um, Lenny Henry gave a most impassioned speech about comic relief when he accepted the Lifetime Achievement Award. We had a daughter, Anna McCrickard, who had nominated her father, Francis, for Unsung Local Hero. It was just a very, very special night, and I'm just so thankful to be part of it. I want to thank all the people who joined the company.